Hey guys, hello. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. I am in Tampa at our layover hotel. Uh, we have 15 hours here, and uh, so I thought I will come downstairs at the business computer to see what my schedule will be like for September. Bids were awarded today, and so I'm anxious to see what I'll get. <clears throat> I suspect that I'm going to have a reserve line because uh, I'm 390 or 389, I think, in base. Uh, and there's going to be less than 200 people on base with a line. Uh, people did take or were able to bid for voluntary time off next month. So I'm not quite sure how many people senior to me were going to take it. But like 150 something people, I think, would have had to have take voluntary time off for me to get a schedule, <clears throat> a line. So I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know why I'm not hopeful, but we'll see what I have. Um, I, no matter what happens, I'm going to be promise myself that I'm going to be grateful that I have a job and that whatever I get, I get, right? Okay, so let's, we have Flickr open. Let's close this little pop-up. I wish I could show you the screen, but um, a lot of our hotel information is on this page and uh, we keep that private so we don't get stalkers. Could you imagine someone stalking me at the hotel? It might happen. Um, let's go into monthly bid, bid awards. And I got a line. <laughs> I got a line. Holy crap, I got a line. All right, so I got line number nine. Let's open my email. I want to see what my, what number nine was. It was my third choice. I got my third choice. I'm sitting here stunned. I got my third choice because I wasn't expecting to get a line, never mind my third choice. Um, let's find out why I got my third choice. What was my third choice? It's a, it's a, it's a chaser line. You know how much I love a chaser line. I'm grateful for my job, I'm grateful for my job. But why was this my third choice? There were 101 lines total. I think something like that and this was the one I chose for my third choice why all right I know why it was my third choice I know it was why why it was my third choice I am very excited this is me very excited I, am I gonna get flushed okay so let's talk about why I love a schedule uh, it is a chaser line that's okay chaser lines typically have like sometimes four, sometimes five legs in a day, and it can be a little exhausting. And you're working with different crews and 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 all that. Uh, but this looks like the easiest chaser line ever created. So my first trip <clears throat> starts on the second, uh, and that's good because the last day of this month is uh, my last trip of August ends the last day of August. Uh, so that gives me the first day of September off completely. And my first trip, I'm not, I don't have to go to work until 8.15 at night. So that gives me two full days where I can let Buddy outside and let him come back in when he wants to. And yes, for those who are uninitiated, I bid around my cat. <laughs> no joke, I really do. Uh, I want to make sure he goes out in the morning, he has time to do his thing and come back in without me having to go chase after him. So this is just spectacular. This first trip is a three-day trip but it's one leg to Oakland. I have a 30 hour layover in Oakland, which means you know I'm going back into San Francisco. I was just there last week, but I'm going back for 30 hours. That means I get to sleep and then go in. Um, then I fly to Oakland to Houston, and then I deadhead from Houston to Las Vegas. How could you beat that? It is a five hour, 22 minute block I'm being credited for 13 hours and 30 minutes. It's magic. Uh, the next trip is, it's back to back, but I still have almost a day off between. Uh, my showtime is until 10.45 at night. Great, I don't mind red eyes. Some people hate them, I don't mind red eyes. Everyone's asleep. Um, it is one leg to Chicago. I have 13 and a half hours in Chicago and then it's one leg back to Vegas. Magic. 
Uh, I've never had trips like this. Never. Never. Not even on reserve. Um, the next trip is on the 8th, and that is one leg to Newark. 34 hours in Newark, which means I'm going right into New York City and finding something to do. I'm hoping the museum, the Metropolitan Museum of Art is open then, but if it's not, I'm sure I'll find something to do in New York City. Um, so I have 34 hours in New York, and then the next day, one leg back to Vegas. The next trip, cake is one leg to Baltimore, 12 hours in Baltimore, which means I get to sleep and eat, and that's all I need. Um, and then we're one leg back to Las Vegas. And we are at a different hotel, and I have heard very good things about this new hotel in Baltimore. So I'm super excited. Short layover, but it's still plenty of time to eat, plenty of time to sleep. Uh, the next trip, one leg to Denver, 18 hours in Denver. There's nothing, nothing in Denver near our hotel where like it's like nothing not even interesting nothing nothing there's a KFC across the street so I can get a pot pie that's that's good then the next day I dead head to Minneapolis and then I do one leg to Las Vegas poof it's cake next trip is on the 24th so I have a, a couple days off between these trips it's great uh, and that is one leg to Newark, 12 hours in Newark, one leg back. Last trip of the month, one leg to Baltimore, 12 hours in Baltimore, one leg back. Hello, this is like a magic schedule. This seems like a schedule that someone who's more senior to me would normally get. Because this is just super easy. Um, now... Uh, another big selling point here is I have time off between these trips for myself, but also for the cats. Um, I can make sure during this hot month in in, uh, in Vegas that I can make sure that Diana, because yes, I think about her most of the time too, I can make sure that she's fed, she has plenty of water, uh, and hopefully her kittens are still doing well. So that's just great. Uh, and I have um, uh, the 11th through the 16th so I have one two three four five six six days off in a row um, typically I would try to pick up a trip during those those hours because you know I'm trying to save money to buy a house right um, uh, just kind of hoard money uh, but I, I don't think I'm gonna pick up a trip in um, August uh, mostly because I think a lot of my junior flight attendant friends are trying to pick up trips or get trips um, because some of them may not have work soon uh, so if there's anything there I'm just gonna leave it there if I look at the the uh, trade board I might pick up something if it's like the last minute before it before it closes you know I don't know I'm probably not gonna pick up a trip but what I could do what I could do is think about going to Rhode Island because I do want to go visit um, a very particular spot um, that uh, is important to my family history. So maybe that's what I'll do then. Or maybe visit my father if he's around. I don't know. But this, this schedule seems super, super, super duper. Uh, and it seems kind of senior to me. Um, 57.22 hours block which means so those are the hours I actually work. I'm credited 74 hours. Did I ever tell you this? 14 days off, I get 216.8 hours of uh, time away from base. Now multiply 216.8, I'm not gonna, times 2.37, I think. I th we get $2.30 some odd cents um, per hour away from base for per diem. So that's a fair amount of money. Um, three Saturdays off. I don't care about weekends off, but it's three Saturdays, one Sunday, one full weekend off. <sighs> Can you hear the relief in my voice? I'm so excited. I needed this good, good news after this crap. Well, the day wasn't too crappy, but I was very stressed early this morning. Um, 
All right, so another thing that makes me comfortable and happy is that if I got a line in September, my third choice, there were 97 other lines after my choice. So the odds are that I'll have a line in October as well. So it looks like I'm, I'm in good, I'm in a good place. So thank you gods of, uh, of bidding. Uh, I don't know how I got lucky, this lucky. All right, so there you go. I think this might be like the shortest video I've ever done, almost. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about schedules, scheduling, reserve, anything, bidding, feel free, leave some comments or questions below and maybe I'll do a question and answer video about bidding, you know, reserve life. If you still have questions, because I've, I've answered a lot of questions in the past, but drop a comment or a question below and I will see you in a future video. All right, take care and I will see you soon. Fly safe.